Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Dan here in the Philippines. I just got done doing a belt loop Solomon bar on a knife sheath and I got a couple pieces of cordage left over. You get stuff like that, don't throw them away. You can do all kinds of stuff with your different cordages. I keep mine to practice tying knots. Um, my favorite knots is probably the bowling knot and it's very simple. Always keep your, I call this my tag and my short end always to the right. Always to the right for all your knots. Always to the right. And all I'm going to do is going to take this loop here. I'm just going to turn it clockwise. Okay. Now to make a bowling knot, this will be a, this, this is going to be a loop. Let's say. I'm going to turn it clockwise. I'm going to go take the. I'm going to take the the tag in here. I'm going to go up through the hole. I'm going to go around this part standing here and here. And I'm going to go right back through the loop that I started with there. Grab both these pieces together. Snug them up. That's a bowling knot. Now, the, your tag end here should always be on the inside. And when you pull it down really hard, this will switch over to about a 45 degree angle. That's a perfect bowling knot. It's the handiest knot in the world for making loops and tying things down, different types of things. And no matter how hard you put it, pull it together, all you gotta do is take this little ear here, little bar, push it down, and it, and it, and it comes loose. Okay, try it one more time. I got my my tag end, my my end that I'm gonna work with over here. Let's say let's say I'm gonna let's say I'm gonna tie a um, knot around the the bumper of a car to go tow something. Okay, so I'm gonna take my my end over here. I'm gonna make my loop out of. I'm gonna make a bend like that. I'm going to make turn it clockwise. So I've got a loop here. Now, I'm going to take this end right here. I'm going to go around my bumper, okay? I'm going to come up through the hole. I'm going to go around the standing in here, back up through the hole, put those two pieces together, and pull the standing in down, okay? And this part right here would be around the bumper. Now, I could tow a car all the way into town, jerking it back and forth as you would when you're pulling it, hundred times, and then when we get there, all I gotta do is push this piece right here, this bar, and it'll come right undone. I, I, I've amazed so many people doing stuff like that. So that's that's the bowling knot. That's a very very simple knot. Okay. There's other ways to tie it, but I think you need to learn it the proper way to tie it. Now you'll see a lot of other videos where people tie it differently. I, Again, I always do it the same way so I, I never have to think about it. I put the short end, whatever end I'm going to make my loop out of, to the right. Make a bend there, give it a twist clockwise. Take my piece up through the, the, the thing is the rabbit runs out of the hole. Runs around the tree, sees a fox, and runs back down the hole. Put those two pieces together there. Pull on this side here. Pull on each one of the sides there. And you have a perfect bowling knot every time. It's, it's one of the easiest knots to use. And once you learn how to do it this way here, you'll never forget it. It's so, so simple. Okay, now, let's say you want to connect two ropes together. There's all different kinds of knots to use. I use the Carex bend at all times. Again, because it's, it's the knot that I like the best. And once you tie the same, use the same knot all the time, it's just it's just second nature. So again, you're going to have your, your a short end over here to the right. Put together, give it a clockwise twist. It gives you a loop with the the tail end, the tag end over the top. You're going to take your other rope. Put it right across the center of that loop you just made there, okay? 
Now you're going to go under, under this rope here, over this rope here, and what you're going to do, you're going to go under, over, under. So you're going to under, over, under, just like that. Snug it up, and what you get is the, the pretzel, the pretzel looking knot right there, okay? Now, you know you did it right. If your your tag ends here, this is going under, your other tag ends going under. Okay? Snug it up just a little bit more. Pull on the two the standing ends, pull it together, and it just binds up. Pull the other two knots together, snug them up. That's the Carex bend. Now, no matter how many times you're jerking it back and forth when you're pulling something or whatever, this cannot come undone. There's a lot of other knots you put together will come undone. Work the, the work that we lose. This one will not. This one will bind up sometimes on you too, depending on what kind of rope you're using. But again, you have these bars here, and if you can push the bar just a little bit, grab hold of the, the rope inside of there, pull it out, it just it just comes on it just comes undone very easily. Loosen it all up and, and, it, and, it, and it comes apart. Okay? I'll show you one more time. Now you have your one rope here. You're gonna have your tag end off, off to the end here. Pull it together, twist it clockwise. Always have your short end to the right. Okay, take your other rope, put it right over the top of the loop you just made, right in the center. Now you got this, you're standing in here, you're gonna go under, over this one. You're gonna go under, over, and under and you get the the pretzel knot there just like that okay to tighten it up take the two standing ends pull them together that's actually that's actually not right there to make it look prettier you can pull the other other two sides make it tighter but that's 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 the carex bend right there now, now I, just, I just tighten that very tight but to undo it all you gotta do is push the bar Just kind of loosen it up and it just it just falls apart. Beautiful. Okay, now the Carex bend, the pretzel part of the knot is the beginning of a couple other knots too. I'll show you one really cool way to make a lanyard. Let's say you got your lanyard here. Okay. And you have a, whatever you're gonna, you're gonna have a whistle. This is your whistle here. Going through your whistle here. Okay. And you want to tie you can you can just tie a overhand knot if you want to. You know, that that's fine, that'll work. But you want to make it look cool, like a knot guy. You're gonna make it make a carex bend, the pretzel, the flat, the plat, they call it a plate, a plat knot, that's the pretzel looking part. And again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right side here, get, get your short piece over here to the right. Okay. Twist it clockwise. You got a little loop here. Okay. You got your other side of your your lanyard. You're gonna go across that loop. Under. Over. Under. Over. And under. Okay. Now there's your there's your plat your plat knot again. Okay. Now to make the lanyard knot. What you do is loosen it up a little bit. It needs just a little more, a little more slack here. Okay. Now, to make the lanyard knot, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take. Let's start with this right one here. I'm going to take this right one. I'm going to go across part of your lanyard here, and I'm going to go under, and I'm going to go back up through the hole. Okay, this other side, I'm gonna go over the top of this other side here, under, and up through the hole. I'm gonna grab hold of the two, the two tag, tag the, the, the tail ends there and the bottom ends. I'm just gonna pull them all together a little bit at the time, kind of evenly, kind of squash it a little bit. Pull the tops here a little bit. Actually, I wanna use a little shorter end here is what I would try to do if I was making a regular lanyard, and it would be a little tighter. 
and you just pull it around a little bit, squeeze it a few times as you're doing it, and you wind up with a really nice looking knot. See? Totally different type of knot. That's how I finish off all my lanyards and whistles and things like that. Also, I also do that if I'm going to use a, let's say, uh, zipper poles, stuff like that. Show you one more time here. Just got to untie it. It's kind of a knot on a knot. Okay. So we have our our whistle, wherever your keys, whatever you're gonna put a put a lanyard on. Okay. I'm gonna take one piece. I'm gonna fold it over. Give it a clockwise twist. I'm gonna take the other piece. Put it right across, right across that loop. I'm going to go under this one here, over this one here, under, over, and under. Just like that. Now I have my little plait part here again. Something like a little tighter. Okay? So. I'm going to start here with the this front one here. I'm going to go over the top of this side of the lanyard and up through the center of the plat. I'm going to take this one over the top of this one here and under and up through the center of the plat. Okay. I've got these two ends here. I'm going to kind of fold this over a little bit because it wants to go around. I'm just going to snug it up a little bit. I'm going to pull from the bottom a little bit, snug it up. Keep keep kind of pushing on it. And sometimes it doesn't come out perfect. It will takes a couple seconds to work it around. Sometimes you'll have a, a loose piece on there, like a, a bigger loop than the other ones. Okay, now you see right here, I've got a, what, one loop here looks a little, looks a little loose, so we're just going to grab on the other side of the loop there and just kind of pull it that way, work our way around, pull the next one over, snug it up. One more here, it's a little loose this time. But that's a, that's a pretty nice looking knot. This one's a little loose. But you can dress it up real nice if you take a little bit of time. Make it real nice and tight. That's real tight now. But that would make a very nice lanyard for your for your whistle. And then on this side here, I would probably cut these two things off, these two pieces off real close, maybe a eighth of an inch, and I would heat both up till they started melting, and then I would just put a knife on them and run them around and I'd get a nice little seal on the top. And you'd be good forever. So it's just a couple little little things to do with some spare cordage. <laughs> I, I don't know how you, if you can see it or not with the black rope and black rope. I should be using two different colors. It makes it much easier to see. So take care, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day no more. Go out and have some fun. Watch your six really close, guys. Know what's going on all around you. And by all means, just be safe. Take care. Thanks for watching.